Okay, take two. Going to be quick here. Try to get your attention. This again is the nurse with the who needs to get new shoes. Uh, I am going to do a quick impromptu video. Dun, 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 dun. In case of zombie attack, what to have, what you need for whatever. Um, actually, I'm very speaking realistically about things like, say, Sandy. Um, look at Patriot Nurse with her video with talking about diseases, that kind of thing, um, where plumbing is not available. Even if the weather had been warmer with uh, New York and Sandy, would not have been good if it was July. It's not good now for sure, but I'm just saying that would have been worse. So I just want to go over some things um, because due to my work, um, this might be the last one video I can make here. So um, how to do it now? Um, just talk about protecting yourself basically some things. Gloves, definitely. Um, powder gloves are not the best. Latex, a lot of people react to. Vinyl is actually very good. Uh, if you're in Canada and get it over the counter at the pharmacy, you're looking at anywhere up to about $17. Um, but if you get the wholesale or check out flea markets, you maybe can get them cheaper. In the States, I don't know, but just with the dollar and the way things are, probably definitely cheaper over the border. Um, the Cadillac of gloves are nitrile. Um, I've even seen these in black. They're pretty cool. You look like uh, Batman or Catwoman when you wear them. But these actually a lot of paramedics use. And these are used in the ER uh, surgery. These are used. These are more expensive. You're probably looking about 17 to 20 Well, at least 20 Well, up to $20 a box. But what these are good for, we use these. Um, and again, we have a lot of this stuff because we deal with chemo patients. Um, unhooking their bottles and that kind of thing. So we have to wear one or two layers of these. If you're dealing with anybody with blood diseases, like hepatitis C and that kind of thing, uh, double up on these and pretty good protection that way but these are definitely very good um, I'm also showing um, just how you can protect yourself these are uh, gowns that are very like literally gowns you probably have seen pictures of these where they go over a person's uniform this is a very thin um, just can protect against M well it's theoretically against MRSA VRE some of those bugs you get in the hospital but what the gown itself looks like it's a yellow sort of see-through version of this uh, no sorry you have to wear it over a uniform but <laughs> <laughs> my twisted sense of humor, but I'm saying that that's uh protects basically against things. But this is um for um against chemicals and uh that kind of thing. This is more of a plastic throwaway version, but this again is a blue that uh doesn't matter what gender you are, you wear. Uh for masks, this is like you see on TV for you know protecting this again is basically your common cough, cold kind of thing. Uh, they wear this in the ER, there's a little metal piece in here you can't really see but that goes over the nose and this goes around the ears you wear that but that's for basic stuff if you want more of a protection there's different kinds of masks the most common and again it goes on the t um, your size of your face and um, that necessarily doesn't have to do with width of your face it's an individual measurement this is like the N95 uh, 3M makes a lot of this stuff I'm not doing any um, like sales for this I'm just saying what you can order I guess you can call uh, like different places and, and find these. But if you wear these, uh, you need to get a fitting done because nothing, literally nothing, can go past the edges here. And also, if you have a, either 10 or 15 pound difference, either gain or loss, um, you need to get this refitted. Uh, I myself, personally, I'm due because it's been uh, three years, at least here in Canada, you have to get it done every three years. Uh, if you are in Toronto, I know you can go to St. Mike's Hospital. I'm not saying don't tell them I sent you, but I think um, pretty much anybody can go and get a fitting done for anywhere between 30 and $40. The price may have gone up to around 40 but that's where they kind of give you a test and um, you wear this funny, like, helmet thing on your head and they spray. And if you cannot, if you can't smell or uh, taste the spray, then this that means this is working. Because basically, literally nothing, no particles can get past this. So once you put this on, you've got to either remain in the enclosed area, if you take it off, or um, you have to wear this. So they wear these on TB units and that kind of thing. You see them if you're cleaning, you know, for hoarders in those films um, or TV shows where they just don't want anything to get past. But these actually need to be fitted. Um, also, too, if you live in somewhere, you know, nursing agencies a lot of times, if you call, um, they assume your medical staff, but can probably, if you pay a fee, um, get these fitted as well. So, but the N95 is the most common. So this again is against pretty much a lot of biological stuff. The next step up from this is something with a respirator. And the next step up from that is like gas mask. So this is like two down from gas mask. Um, yeah, because we deal with chemicals here. I'm not saying it's zombie stuff, but cytotoxic. Um, just to make you aware of anything like in the hospitals where they take anything that's got biological 
and with the symbol you guys have seen okay um like we put sharps and stuff in here these are these haven't been used yet but anything that has blood or different products or anything um that are disposed of they're disposed of uh in a special way where they're um in the hospital they use like special they're either shipped off or at the same hospital that it might be used at um like special furnaces where actually things are burnt okay so um this is would include things with blood on them needles whatever so just to get rid of it uh, biologically for cleanup um i mean the very basic for your own hands is looking at you know purell type of thing um, you're looking at, if you're looking in a working healthcare environment, it needs to be at least 70% alcohol, at least by law, here in Ontario. If people have, you've heard of MRSA, VRE, and those different bugs you get in the hospital, there's something called Dexedin. I'm not prescribing this, I'm just merely giving information. It's called chlorhexidine, and it's used to, um, it could be used for different skin ailments, actually. Sometimes it's prescribed, but this is actually for cleaning hands and stuff, and this is theoretically to get rid of bugs, and you can see, um, yeah, well, it is strong. Um, for cleaning up anything, this is above, I guess over the counter you can get Lysol stuff, but in hospital, this is just a brand, I mean it could be any type of brand, but um, with the active, in this is again against, uh, when tuberculotal, what they're saying is against tuberculosis, bacteria, or fungicidal stuff, and yeah, good luck pronouncing this, and the focus isn't that good, I'm not even going to try, but anyways, my chemistry was not the best, but uh, long word and then dimethyl bezel ammonium chloride if you really want to know but basically it uh works but it is cytotoxic and it can but it can basically kill most common stuff out there zombie stuff i'm not really sure though um and if you spill different things like spill kits or anything cytotoxic this is just um yeah, this we use this for chemotherapy, but what this is is a special kit that we have to clean things up. And then, again, it would be shipped off to wherever and put in one of the uh, Sharps containers or specially packaged. So this is just some stuff to make you aware of, but the main thing is I wanted to point out these N95, and there also is another type of version of these as well. But um, I think I told you, yeah, where you could get it done in Toronto. Other places, I'm not really sure. So this is basically, hopefully... No zombie attack. No, just kidding. But what we're saying is, is basically, realistically, post Sandy, post anything, where different diseases are. We're not saying you have to stock up to the hilt, but I'm just making people aware of what's out there. Okay, I am going to uh, sign off now, and I think this is probably it for videos at an undisclosed location in Ontario. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye. And just have a cup of tea and wait till it all blows over.